Last time on Space Engineers, A New Home. Destination reached. Beginning initial descent. Warning. Catastrophic failure of the autopilot system. Well, at least his CPU's online. Maybe he'll be able to reconstruct himself. Whoa! Well, that's a major setback. Two batteries connected and one gets destroyed. Marvin? Or his AI is back online. Look at that. Magnesium. This is so close to almost don't even need the car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Ah! Well, Marvin, it's time to get your big brain to work. Figure out a way to get the car flipped back over. And now, the continuation. Alright Marvin, it's time to put that big brain of yours to use. What can we do about this car? Well, Lieutenant, the easiest solution is to build a vehicle with a crane. Yeah, well, the easiest solution and what we have resources for are not exactly the same thing, Marvin. Well, Lieutenant, another option is to use a piston device to flip the car back over. Piston device, huh? Alright, uh, see what I can do then. Let's see if I can use the top chassis. Let's see. Pistons don't seem to be working very well. Sounds like operator error, you think? Oh, thank you very much, Marvin. That's very, very comforting. Maybe if I can get it at least high enough that I can put something underneath it to prevent it from falling down and then here it goes. So that did exactly the opposite of what we wanted to do. Marvin, what do you think about maybe attaching a thruster to it? See if we can use the power of a thruster to flip it over. I don't know, Lieutenant. Seems unlikely. Well, you're just a bucket of sunshine today, aren't you? I've got enough resources to build a couple thrusters. Oh, 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 stop, stop. Oh. You are not operating how I wanted you to operate. Well, that didn't work. I think we're going to need some side to sides to give it a rolling motion.
All right, let's try this again, Marvin. Combining the two. I'm sure, hope this doesn't hit my solar cells. being cheap and we'll just turn this thing to a flying car. How's that sound? about it Marvin this is probably a smarter idea anyway because yeah uh, oh 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 stop with the amount of rough terrain in this area this is probably gonna be the smartest thing anyway just to give us the ability to oh hello Sam Marvin, this will give us the ability to uh, traverse some of the more uneven areas, I think. So, it may not seem like it, but I think this will probably be a good thing for us. power left in that rover. Being upside down, those solar panels aren't getting much. Well, Marvin, I think I figured out why the thrusters weren't working to begin with. Probably, Lieutenant, because you did not connect the gyroscope to transfer the power. Well, thank you, Marvin. That's very helpful. Why didn't you tell me that before I tried the experiment? As I said, Lieutenant, operator error. You know, Marvin, you and I are in your processor, and we're going to might just have to have a little conversation. got up, we've got down, we've got left and right, we've got front and back. Uh, we've got gyroscopes. Let's give it another shot, Marvin. Uh-oh. Another meteor storm inbound? This 
raises another good point, Marvin, I wanted to talk to you. I I'm thinking, based on the amount of damage we sustained last time, even with two turrets, I I'm really thinking that maybe I should move the base underground. Like, because these turrets aren't even able to take out everything, even with two of them. I'm thinking at least the primary stuff, the refinery, assembler, uh, your main processor, oh, I'd like to get it all underground where it'll get a lot more relative safety. Um, what do you think about that? I think that would be very wise, Lieutenant. There seems to be much unstable material in the solar system. Yeah, I think it'd be very wise too. First, I need this car flipped over. Success! Marvin, success! Congratulations, Lieutenant. You flipped over the hunk of metal. <sighs> Way to just deflate my elation, Marvin. Thank you so much. Oh well, this could end up being a blessing and surprise. At least now, the vehicle will be capable of traversing a lot more uh, rough, a lot rougher terrain, a lot more unstable terrain. Let's make sure she still works. Looks like it. Let's take a look, see if we can take a look around now. Hopefully the car won't flip over again. Hopefully we can find some more resource nodes. So I can get you better processors, Marvin. That would be much appreciated, Lieutenant. There's not a whole heck of a lot out here on this tundra, Marvin. Not finding any resources. Planet's not very resource friendly. Ooh, nickel. Excellent. How are our nickel supplies, Marvin? We have less than one kilogram of nickel in the refinery and assembler, Lieutenant. Understood. Then uh, I'm gonna get some nickel out of here. This is excellent. I was kind of afraid we we're gonna run out of nickel, have to build metal plates and stuff. All right, Marvin, we got about 10k of nickel out of this rock. I think that'll be good enough for now. Why don't you uh, throw down a GPS point uh, based off of the car's location? That way we can come back out here if we need some more nickel. Understood, Lieutenant. Marking GPS waypoint. All right, I'm back in the rover. I'm going to see what else we can find out here. I'm, gonna, then I'm probably going to head back before it gets too much darker and I can't see to drive. In fact, I think I'll head back now. I'll just take a roundabout way of getting there. Try and explore this other side. Maybe there's some more, some more lovely rocks like that one. Got some goodies in them for us. Really, really could use some uranium. This, Lieutenant, the extra power from a reactor would be greatly... Well, I still haven't seen any new resources on my display, with the exception of ice, which really is not going to help us much. I want to talk to you about that, Marvin. What are your thoughts on making a small scout reconnaissance aircraft? Something that could travel farther distances. Well, Lieutenant, based on the amount of meteor showers, I think it would probably be beneficial to work on making an underground bunker before worrying about reconning the area. Yeah, I can understand that, Marvin. Yeah, I can understand that. I, I guess you're right. Well, uh, I'll worry more about getting us a bunker. In fact, I think I can work on that tonight. This car is about out of juice. Let me offload this nickel. Get the refinery going, and I'll see what I can do about digging out a little bunker, a little hole to get started. Yeah, let me think, and I'm gonna move the vehicle around to the back. I can use the lights that way. It'll uh, that'll give me a twofold advantage. I can use the headlights to light up the work area where I'm gonna be mining, and 
it'll be a lot easier to offload the rest of these supplies right into the refinery. I think again, I'll just dig basically not quite straight into the hill, but almost straight into the hill behind the base. That'll allow, uh, I can do a slight down, downgrade. That way we can connect the power supply straight in from what we already have. Sounds like a good idea, Lieutenant. Do we have enough resources to make me a better drill, Marvin? This basic one is not so great. Uh, wish we had some silver. It's alright, we got enough for the enhanced drill. That should be at least a little bit better. man. Between that car and digging this hole, I, I'm exhausted. I'm ready for a little nap, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, Alright, well, how's your memory coming? That's, that's not much improvement, Marvin. Yes, Lieutenant. Most of the memory process crystals have been damaged, parse errors, among other things. I'm still working on it. Okay, well, just keep at it. You're going to need a lot of that stuff in your memory, particularly how to build a warp gate back, back to Earth. All of this is going to be for nothing if we can't communicate that we found a good planet back to Earth. Understood, Lieutenant. I will continue to work on it. All right, man. Well, I'm hitting the hat, hitting the rack. So you've got control of everything. So keep an eye on and uh, wake me up when the sun comes up. All right. Understood, Lieutenant. The alarm clock is set. Good night, Marvin. Good night, Lieutenant. Sleep well. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Some of my other playlists are right here. Just click on the picture. If there's something you liked or something you'd like to see, please leave a comment.